Mr. Chips. Some say you are the creator of the universe. Others say you are just the sustainer. Some say you are both the creator and the sustainer of the universe. Others say the universe is just a big crab trap and you are just the container. Some say you are God in three persons. You give tests out of many lessons. You miss rains and tender and they fall as showers of blessings. Believers and unbelievers are all enjoying blessings. So what is your essence? Many authors claim you are simply unnecessary. Others say you don't even exist. And that we should go to the nursery and sing that lullaby to the kids. People have described you with indecent words. Science has shown us much about how the universe works. Science has brought us immense amounts of understanding. In physics, we can now claim to know something like the Big Bang. And I must admit that that theory seems outstanding. Science and tech today are our eyes. Faith and religion are our ears. But science has blinded our eyes to what our ears hears. They say you say we should be wise and even go to the ant with cheers. How? Why? But who are you though? Who are you that you see through the heart and give it rain of the snow? Who are you, a friend or foe? The preacher man said that there is even grace in your yes and mercy in your no. Job said, your breath giveth frost. You don't balance your account with profit and loss. You turn out boss. You won the toss even before the coin was tossed. You love our worship, but you hate our worldly applause. They say knowledge face ignorance and give revelation to real truth. As a youth, I've been digging for knowledge from Genesis to Revelation in search for some real truth. As the chapters unfold, tons of melodies keep dripping in my mind like you live in the booth. And my ear suits, tune so smooth. John said you are the way, the truth. But I see no toe booth. You don't work with money or you have plenty. You don't need any or I'm beginning to sound funny. A jealous God yet forgiven. You love sinners yet sin you forbidden. We feel your presence, you are so hidden. You give rest to the weary and those who are heavy laden. Is that not a burden? See, I'm ready to know who you are. Are you here on earth or you are so far? We keep falling short of your glory, but no injury so far. Cushioning lasts like a sofa. Per my deeds, I deserve to suffer. But you offered me salvation on a silver platter. We mention your name and the enemy scatter. You are the first person of the Trinity with a son out of virginity, the absolute origin and the grand totality, the collective consciousness that emerged out of an unknown entity. You are the differentiation, differential of a different divinity. You know the value of infinity. See, if a man is infinitely infinite, man is immortal and eternal entity, then I can't imagine who I'm dealing with. The Lord, the Almighty, the Lord Almighty, the Lord God Almighty, the Lord of the Lost, Lord the Most High. From the hinterlands to the coastline, everybody knows why they exist. They call you Adonai, Adonai, why are you in the abyss? How do you do what you do? Why does everyone praise to you? Show me. I want to be more close to you because I need more of you. Did you paint the world into existence or you had the script? Did you use Times New Romance or you use the script? Do you really talk or your mouth is been zipped? I'm asking all these questions because I want my baby to be equipped. See, Lord, my last question may be tricky. Is God truly your name or your Nikki? I want to know more of you. I want to know more about you. Because sometimes my mind tries to doubt you. But my heart keeps telling me I can't live without you. You work within us. The internationally recognized internal intern. A king whose kingdom is in heaven. Your authority is sovereign. I want to know you. Who are you, God? Rhymes on it.